What's going on, y'all? It's the Kid J. Nolan here, and I want to talk to y'all today about Sound Exchange, how they've revamped their new website and have dropped their first ever mobile app that will allow artists to supervise and collect royalties in a much easier and more accessible way. Now, for those of y'all that don't know, Sound Exchange collects your digital performance royalties, all right? And I'm going to get into all of what they do in just a moment. As a matter of fact, let's get right into it. So I'm here on the website and the first thing that you're going to see is who is Sound Exchange. For those of y'all that have never been on here before, this would be new information. And for those of y'all that have, just bear with me. All right. So who is Sound Exchange? Sound Exchange sits at the center of the business of music, providing products and services to its 500,000 plus global community of artists, labels and publishers, enabling digital service providers to meet their obligations and advocating for creators to get paid fairly for their work as the premier music tech organization. Uh, relied upon by the entire music industry, Sound Exchange is shaping the future of music to make it fairer, simpler, and more efficient. Sound Exchange collects digital performance royalties. Now, what are digital performance royalties? Recording artists and sound recording owners must be registered with Sound Exchange in order to receive digital performance royalties for the use of their sound recordings on non interactive platforms like SiriusXM, Pandora, and iHeartRadio. If you are a sound recording owner or a recording artist who has not registered with Sound Exchange, then you can use the search tool below to see if you are owed royalties. All right, so you're gonna go on here, you're gonna select your status, whether you're an unregistered artist, partially unregistered, unregistered performer, unregistered sound recording owner, right? Now, as for the new app that they just released, the Sound Exchange app gives creators the power to manage the business of their music wherever they are. Through the app, artists can search and claim their recordings, track their catalog, and receive their digital royalty payments. And the app is available for both Android and Apple users, so it's not exclusive to one or the other. You won't have any problems getting in there. When you go onto the app, uh, the first thing you're gonna see is this uh, screen here, Sound Exchange. It's gonna ask you to log in. Um, if you haven't already signed up, of course, you're gonna have to sign up and create a registration for yourself as a songwriter and as a uh, sound recording owner. From there, you'll be able to select a registrant so you can view its most recent information as it shows on this screen here and it shows you your payments uh, this is an example page so it says here this section displays information about payments made to its registrant in the last six months period please select a payment from the graph or the drop down for more detailed information about it to access older payments please click on view statements pdf now it shows you a breakdown of the last few months your payments you get to view your statements your earnings your right holder earnings, your artist earnings, and of course, you're gonna get paid from that. They've got another screen here that gets, that shows you all of your previous statements, you know what I'm saying, in a succinct order, so you don't have to uh, go searching too far for it. You've got a My Account page that allows you to update your contact information, your tax information, your bank information, so that you can actually get paid. Any guest users, like if your manager needs to use it, or if you've got an agent or an assistant of some sort who needs to be um, supervising, if you got an admin person that goes in there, all of that will happen on the My Account page. And then they also have an FAQ page, okay? They have how do I access my statements? How do I change my payment address tax and you know, direct deposit information? I just showed you that. Why haven't I received payment from my active registrant in Sound Exchange Direct? So if you haven't been receiving payments and you wanna check on those, uh, you can actually go in there and see what's going on. Why does my account say on hold? Um, how can I access previous statements not available for download on Sound Exchange Direct? How can I update Sound Exchange about my new releases and submit repertoire? You know what I'm saying? And then they also got a contact page where you can contact them with any specific issues that you might be experiencing either on the website or the app and you can get some answers, all right? Now, for a lot of artists out there, y'all might not be extremely uh, familiar with the importance of Sound Exchange, but as you continue to grow as an artist and you start to get your songs played on more radio stations or people start to listen to your music more on Pandora or on uh, XM Radio, Sirius XM, DJs start playing, you putting them in their rotation, um, this Sound Exchange money is gonna be very vital to you. Because as it goes right now, if you get played on FM, AM radio, um, they do not pay royalties out for that. So if you got anybody that's playing your music on a iHeartRadio affiliated station, this stuff is gonna be very important. If you got anybody playing your music on like Live 365, Ant Radio, Homegrown Radio, um, Dash Radio, all of these places 
are digital radio stations, all right? And they report and send royalties to sound exchange all right so all these types of platforms are where you're going to be getting your money from and like i said as your music and as you continue to grow as a brand and as an artist these things are going to become increasingly important a lot of y'all may not be getting any spins right now but that's not to say that you're not so the earlier that you get signed up and get your songs registered in case anything does happen is going to be for the better same as you would on bmi ascap same way that you would if you signed up for song trust to get those additional uh, performance and mechanical royalties that you may not have been getting through your PRO. All of this stuff is a little bit confusing, but I'm telling you, just go ahead and get it set up. It is tedious, but set aside a couple days. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all don't work on the weekend. Some of y'all do. Whatever days you off, set aside a whole day, a two days. You know what I mean? That it, whatever it takes, where you just lock in and just get all of your information set up. Just have an administration day where everything you need gets put in and then you don't have to worry about it until you start adding more songs to your repertoire. And at that point, all you gotta do is just add one at a time. It's gonna be super easy and you're gonna be familiar with the process, all right? So now you can get some more royalties. You're gonna have more money to go towards your bills, paying off phone bills, light bills, gas bills, anything of that nature. And over time, it's gonna accumulate and you never know, you might actually be able to pay your rent off of some of these payments, all right? So let me know what y'all think down below. Make sure that you like and share this video. And like I always say, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to get the notifications. And I'll see y'all on the next video, man. Much love and respect. Peace.